Hello everyone, beginning this month, we're starting a new feature right here on NCTV. Over the next six months, I'll take a closer look at the history of the six county courthouses in our viewing area. We'll pay visits to the Sumner, Smith, Trousdale, Clay, and Allen County courthouses. But first, we start our coverage right here in Lafayette at the Macon County Courthouse. It stands tall on this bright sunny day. This is the fourth official courthouse Macon County has used on the public square in Lafayette, but there have been others. Macon County is formed January the 18th, 1842, and so there was no courthouse. Everything had to be established and structured. So the first court met at the home of William Dunn, which was located on Old Highway 52, uh, in front of what is the present now National Guard Armory. A small park has been established there and a monument for the first courthouse is placed there. And after it was held in the home of William Dunn, it was held in the log house of Britton Holland and then in the home of Thomas A. Williams until the first courthouse was completed in 1844. How cool, how cool. So why did they decide in those years they wanted to have it in someone's house? Well, I mean, that was the only way it could be. Uh, this was new territory. There was no road, no structured town yet. Mm -hmm. So uh, when Macon County was formed and then later Lafette was formed in 1843 and these men were appointed um, commissioners over, um, over the uh, county and uh, they appropriated money, sold lots for the town, which was 75 town lots and uh, the courthouse had to be built, which it took it until 1844 to be completed. Well, the first one, two-story brick structure, 40 by 40 feet square. Um, there was a courtroom on the uh, ground floor, and the second floor held two offices and a jury room. And uh, that one was destroyed by fire in uh, March of 1860. And the second courthouse was built, uh, started in 1861, but of course we had a, a little thing called the Civil War, and they got the walls up, and then it wasn't completed until 1865. So uh, I guess that was a pretty long building time for a courthouse, but at least it saved it from getting burned during the Civil War. And it was a two-story structure, brick, 40 by 52. And uh, no pictures exist of that courthouse, but uh, just a few in the background, and that's the only photos I've found so far of it. The third courthouse was built in 1901 after the fire of the other one, which was in the same year. And this 1901 courthouse was the most beautiful structure that we had. The pictures really show a nice looking building. Two story with a cupola. It had a, on the cupola it had four sides with a clock face on each side, but due the, to the cost of $400, the clock was never installed. So you had a pretty clock, but it only told time twice a day. And, uh, and that courthouse burned as well, is that right? That courthouse burned in uh, 1932 um, by arson. Can you go into a little more detail on, on the arson situation? Um, I think there was an officer in the court that may have been trying to perhaps cover up some uh, bad records or poor record keeping and uh, it burned on July the 4th, actually, 1932, which I assume was a holiday, and uh, so no one was around. Uh, it was very unfortunate for that was a very, very beautiful courthouse. And then the present day courthouse, it's been here how long? It was started in 1932 and completed in the early part of 1933, and uh, it is, it's a very nice looking courthouse. It's been renovated a few times. Um, there are historical uh, photos on the ground floor. All our state representatives' photos are there, as are uh, photos of Macon County life early on. We have uh, several aerial views of the town uh, from different time periods. We even have a slate from the 1901-1932 courthouse. So, uh, but it's a very nice courthouse now and something that all Macon County should be proud of. This is, you might say, the crown in our county seat and of Lafayette, and, which is the county seat of Macon County. And I, I would encourage everybody to come by and, and look, look at your courthouse, appreciate it. Outside the building, there are several different monuments. Could you talk about the monuments and their significance? Well, we have one monument, which I guess is dear to uh, 
a lot of people's heart is the uh, uh, monument celebrating the uh, life and the death of the soldiers of, of various wars. Uh, any Macon County who died while in service name is on that. So you know that uh, means a lot to their family. It gives the soldier the recognition that he deserved. We have um, some Civil War monuments. Uh, Macon County is part of the Civil War trails and we have six monuments throughout the county and in the courthouse courtyard is the uh, uh, gateway sign which is an overview of all the other signs uh, talking about Macon County during the Civil War. Uh, there's also a, a monument of um, commemorating the um, enlistment centers that were held in Red Bowling and at Epperson Springs. And then we have, of course, the monument uh, celebrating the 2008, February the 5th tornado, where 14 Macon Countyans were killed. And uh, that monument is there to honor their lives. Um, we also have two steps from the Woodmore Hotel. And that was a hotel, actually, the old part of that hotel was the first house in Macon County. And those logs are now at the Han Hancock House in Gallatin, which is that separate little cabin. That is actually the first house of, uh, of Lafayette. And uh, these steps were at the uh, entrances to the Old Woodmore. So uh, Mrs. Marion Cassidy donated these back to the county. And uh, a real nice plaque uh, stayed in the history of them with the picture of the Woodmores on this plaque. How neat was it? to be able to get part of the original fencing around the courthouse. That, that is one of the things that perhaps uh, made the biggest change in the appearance outside. In 1901, the courthouse fence was installed around the courtyard, and uh, sometime during that period, it was taken out probably in the 20s. Uh, there was only two small gates, and I guess it was just not convenient for the patrons to get in and out, but uh, in 2000, and 11, I uh, contacted the descendants of uh, Jean and um, J.E. Blankenship, who had the fence on their sidewalk at their home. And the family was so heartily agreeing to give it back. So with the help of uh, the county court to appropriate money and the help of the, uh, some of the Macon County uh, inmates, we were able to reinstall um, a section of the fence around each side, which is shaped in the octagon, and it is really very nice looking. And I have plans to get more if I can uh, get them to donate it back into the county. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, also, talk about, um, you know, as a kid, I can remember coming to the courthouse and, and driving by, and you see a, lo a lot of older gentlemen sitting down outside. Uh, what are they doing there? Well, that's the Whittlers, and that is unique for Macon County. Um, I think people take it for granted, but out-of-town people really comment on our whittlers. It's the big tree, which I don't know the age of the tree, but it's a very old oak tree in our, in our courtyard, and they have benches, and the men sit out there and talk and whittle and solve the problems of the world. <laughs> if they could only bring the problems on the inside of the courthouse, I suppose, uh, and, and solve them, I guess. Uh, and as, speaking as far as the inside of the courthouse is concerned, what kind of offices do we have inside the courthouse, and, and how important is it to this county? Well, of course, uh, Lafayette is the county seat, and each county, by law, has to have a courthouse. You have to have a place to do your official business. We have the Register of Deeds, we have the trustee, tax assessor, county court clerk, and in 2002, the Justice Center was built and the circuit court clerk moved there. Um, also on the second floor of the courthouse, we have the archives, and uh, also the Macon County Historical Society has an office on the second floor. So all your old history, all your old records are uh, located in a central location, easy for patrons to uh, take advantage of. Court cases are also heard on the second floor of the Macon County Courthouse, a courthouse both current and past with so much history. Very interesting. I mean, you look at something perhaps every day but you don't realize the importance or the significance or the, uh, what it took to make it what it is today, the uh, efforts and sacrifices uh, of all our ancestors. That's why history is so important. Uh, we shouldn't take anything for granted. 
uh, we should uh, respect. And, and you respect that by learning about it, and by learning, you appreciate and preserve it. And I think that's the responsibility of each Macon County and today. Next month, we pay a visit to Hartsville and learn the history of the Trousdale County Courthouse. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.